if the people want chamisa they must vote chamisa if the people want yes. um, uh, uh, no tyson they must vote how do you disqualify a person from contesting you it's an already a sign of panic because if you don't doubt yourself and we're talking democracy open yeah. the field let everyone contest why are you scared of uh, Gasquare? Gasquare must be allowed to contest uh, so that people have more options of what they want to do uh, with Zimbabwe. We need a stable Zimbabwe, especially ourselves as South Africa. We need a stable Zimbabwe. And we, we, we so wish that this election uh, are successful and there's no violence and they produce stability for the sake of our own peace because this thing that we see here of Zimbabweans being beaten up and all of that really is not nice it's not nice so a, a functioning Zimbabwe will lessen some of these uh, xenophobic tendencies that we come across from uh, time to time uh, if Mbalula characterizes uh, 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 Chamisa as a, an American puppet he has to produce some form of evidence. He can't just talk. Uh, uh, why is he saying he's an uh, American puppet? Because if you read Tsangarai um, Chamisa's policies and those of the ANC, they are the same. They are the same. So why would he use he to tell us uh, that Chamisa is a is an American puppet? He the ANC has been the British puppet from its formation. The ANC had a, a thing in was it called constitution uh, protect the queen yeah. in its constitution at, at the formation of the ANC. So you can't come and want to lecture us about puppets of anything. See, I like this man. I like Julius Malema. Every person has got their own shortfalls, but you know, Julius Malema is one a uh, person that has been consistent uh, with his position on the situation of Zimbabwe. Unlike these other fake comrades, Fikile Mbalula and the ANC comrades. Fake people. Real Pan-Africanism. True Pan-Africanism. Is this one. Because love, you know, love is one at attribute of pan-africanism ubuntu in our culture as africans you cannot watch another person i mean losing direction and then you keep quiet you keep praising them the zanu pf comrades they are doing bad things corrupt you know very corrupt have you ever seen fikile mbalile talking about that no he keeps quiet they rig election. They do all sorts of things. Now they've introduced a bill that is going to punish people who speak like what I'm doing. And Fikile Mbalule and all those ANC come, they'll be, see? Then they want to come and uh, act as if they love us. Hey, Zimbabwe, sanctions, sanctions. God must bless Julius Malema for being truthful. Especially uh in regards to our situation as Zimbabweans. That's all we want. We want people, we want all the Sadiq uh, 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 leaders, you know. All the prominent people in Africa, they must speak against, you know, this, you know, evil leadership in Africa. We don't, wherever it's happening, be it in Uganda, what your William Seven is doing, it's rubbish. What that other, uh, what do you call it, the, this president of Nigeria that they've elected there, they never elected him after all. He forced himself on. The, we don't want that in Africa. We want a progressive Africa. We want an Africa that where we, all of us, no one should even. We know Zimbabweans must come to South Africa on vacation as tourists, you know, probably for holiday, not this thing of coming to look for work. And these fake comrades, Vikile Mbalula, will be always saying shit. Hell nonsense. Thank you, Juju.
Thank you, Juju. We love you. We love you as Zimbabwean. We love you. God must bless you. We wish even these leaders across Africa could speak in one voice, especially at this time where we are going to elections. We want people who can speak in one voice to say, we want free and fair elections in Zimbabwe. That's all we want. If people love ZANPF, they can vote for ZANPF and we will congratulate whoever is going to win the election. Someone wants to come and tell us, Fikil and Balula wants to come and tell us that they won't allow regime change in Zimbabwe. As who? 